Clarence Reed is one of the most talented people in the whole world. A world-class R&B singer, writer, producer in Florida, who also happens to be the filthiest rapper that you'll ever meet. When I was growing up, my father used to listen to all these party records, and Blowfly was the master. What's up, motherfuckers? The first time I paid attention to Blowfly, it was like, okay, this dude, he's being futuristic, he's being adventurous. Everybody early on in the rap business was inspired by him. Little did I know that he was also Clarence Reed. Clarence was the center, the heart of it all. The most important musical guy down here. Betty Wright, Gwen McRae, George McRae, Casey and the Sunshine Band. His name was on all of those records, you know, every one of them. His writer's royalties are worth millions of dollars. He sold it for nothing. I don't like to talk about it because I get extremely pissed. Part of your life story goes in a matter of months. It's gonna be a spermy night in Georgia. A spermy night in Georgia. One of the weirdest ironies to me is here's respected old school soul maestro Clarence Reed, but who still grows a crowd and gets to make new albums but Blowfly? Clarence should have had so much more right now. So much more. So what do you think? Do you think you're going to heaven or hell? Uh, I wouldn't give a fuck. I don't think I would want to go to heaven. What I, if it's like the Bible said, that would be boring to me.